Beep beep everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to open up the GLB Collector's Box, which is a subscription, I guess, quote unquote, mystery box um, from GLB Breaks. And this is the uh, issue for the month of May. Uh, I have a subscription to this and that costs $28.49 a month. You can buy them as just an individual purchase for $29.99. The subscription comes with one extra hit. And um, these get sent out about the second or third week in the month. Um, so uh, by the time I get around to shooting a video, sometimes it doesn't get posted till the next month. So I'm going to try to get this posted before the month's over, but no guarantees. We're all kind of busy, you know, and all that. So let's get into opening it up. Beep, beep. Oh, where's the little orange guy? Beep, beep. Uh, we'll move them over here. We'll bring him back. Boop, boop, boop for good luck. Uh, these get sent in this box. Uh, here's their URL if you want to um, check them out. I will put a link to it below in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. If I haven't, just leave a comment and let me know if it's there or not. Okay. Oh, cool. We haven't seen uh, one of these in a while. <laughs> Didn't have them in the last few. So this comes with a bunch of loose cards. It comes with uh, three packs. You see that? I don't know. I'm not paying attention to what's going on there. Uh, this has like top loaders and some penny sleeves and two hits. And there are all these uh, loose cards inside. Uh, so we'll go through the loose cards first and see what kind of neat stuff is in this month's box. Start off with a Bowman card. I can't make out the name. The uh, Pardon the glare there. Uh, what's that say? Gareth Morgan. This is from 2015, so that's an older Bowman card. Uh, this is from the same set, Trey Ball. I don't recognize these gentlemen. John Bray. My, John Gray. <laughs> Might be easier if I just look at the back. The silver text uh, picks up the glare of the light, and I can't read it. That's A.J. Cole. We have a Stadium uh, Club Chrome, Ozzy Albies. That's a nice one. What year is this one from? 2022. Uh, Walker Bueller from the same set. Dexter Fowler from Topps Chrome. That dates from 2014. And Edwin Encarnacion, also from 2014 Topps Chrome. That's one I did not have in my collection. Uh, Allen and Ginter. That's Adrian Beltre. That's from 2015. Don't recognize the design. So we've got some older stuff in here. Um, Drew Hutchison. I don't know what this guy's first name is. Mike Zunino. <clears throat> Josh Reddick. And Nick Trapiano. A lot of those names I don't recognize. We have a Bowman Platinum card of Trent Clark. Dating from 2017. Garrett Richards from, what is this, 2018 Tops Chrome? No, 2015, sorry. Why did I get that one confused? I don't know. Classics. That's Wade Boggs. Panini, 2014. Definitely don't have anything from that year. That's Ty Cobb from the same set. So that's pretty cool. Jeter Downs rookie card from 2023 Top Series 1. Cool. Eddie Murray. This is from 2023 Tops. also. This is the 88 insert set. And definitely don't have that card. That's a nice one. Hall of Famer. Big fan of him when I was growing up. Jose Abreu from Stadium Club. That's from 2015. I didn't recognize the design. Don't have any 2015 Stadium Club in my collection. Jim Rice, that's a really cool photo. Hall of Famer Jim Rice. 
You got Hall of Famer Whitey Ford. Really love that one. That's really cool looking. It's nice that they brought back old fo photographs to, to add to the stadium club sets. Victor Martinez. There's Madison Bumgarner on Topps Chrome. Uh, Prince Feeler, also from that same set. Jacob Stallings from 2021 Top Series 2. There's Justin Upton. And Mike Tauchman. I hope I pronounced that right. Corbin Burns. This is from either Tribute or Triple Threads. From 2022 kind of looks like it's from tribute you can correct me in the comments if you want to these are a higher end product that i doubt i'll ever buy anything from because of the cost involved uh we got a brad goldberg rookie card um this is a rainbow foil i believe from update 2017 and noah lowry rediscover tops this is from 06. I wonder if this was uh, one of those um, buybacks. I don't know if it's that's the case with this. I'm not familiar with the Rediscover Tops stamp on top of these cards. I have seen some buybacks before of generally older cards from the 80s and 70s that have a, a Tops anniversary sticker on it. So I don't know what Discovery... Pardon me, Rediscover Tops is all about. We'll have to look that up. Uh, this one is uh, from 2023, I or 2022, I'm sorry. Buster Posey. Uh, I saw some of these in the last box, and uh, I had never seen them before. Pretty cool looking. Okay, we got uh, Tom Seaver from Stadium Club Chrome. That's definitely a nice one. Back when he was with the Mets. And Lou Gehrig. Uh, Robin Yount from one of those turkey red inserts. I uh, don't remember the year these came out. That says 2020. I know they came out with these for a number of different years in the past. I have a few of them that have that have turned up in my collection. Yanni Chirinos. Tyler Chatwood. He's doing a nice burp there and pointing at somebody. Uh We'll separate off the burp card some other time. We have uh, Garrett Stubbs. Uh, Marlins card. Uh, this is from 2023. This is the wins leaders, Verlander, Valdez, and Manoa. And Judge walks off in 10. That's also from that set. Zach Thompson rookie card. Chris Bryant. Uh, Tanner Rainey, Bobby Witt Jr., Rookie Cup card, second year card for him. Uh, Yasmani Grandal, Jason Hamill, what year is that from? 2016. I don't have very many cards from 2016. I started, I got back into the hobby in the fall of 2021 for those of you that are watching this channel for the first time. And uh, I previously collected. Uh, uh, from 1979, when I was 10 years old, up through 1991, I was actively collecting uh, packs for the first three or four years, and then I started buying factory sealed sets. I bought apparently some cards in 93 and 97, and I bought a s complete 74 top set somewhere in the mid-90s, plus some TCMA sets, and then I pretty much closed shop for... Up until 2021, I lost interest in the, the game because of the steroids issue, and uh, I've it take, it's taken me that long to overcome that, I guess you could say. So that's uh, David Ortiz and the Prince. <laughs> and we got um, home run leaders, Chris Davis, Nelson Cruz, and Mike Trout. And Nick Hundley. So I haven't seen these cards from 2016. Haven't opened any. Uh, there's a big gap in my knowledge from all that time period. I am slowly filling in some of those gaps. So bear with me as I while I stumble through some of this stuff. We got um, perennial draft picks from 
Panini Prism. That's Jordan Montgomery. Never seen these before. That's from 2014. Uh, Isan Diaz. 2014 Panini Classics. That's Jose Bautista and Mike Piazza. Miguel Cabrera. Definitely like the design of those. They're pretty cool. Never seen them before until today. Caleb Killian rookie card. Derek Hall rookie card. Matt Strom. Tommy Edmond. Ha Seung Kim. And I guess this is uh, one of our hits. It's a Bobby Dahlbeck rookie card from Topps Holiday. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's got... Um, What's that say? Player worn memorabilia. I guess it's just called a relic card card from the uh, Walmart Holiday Mega Box from 2021. Uh, here's my stance. They're over here to the right here on this shelf. So we'll put that up there as a hit. Nelson Velazquez rookie card. What year Bowman is that? 2023. Oh, that's the new Bowman. I have not opened up any Bowman. Actually, wasn't intending on buying any of it. Uh, the Bowman uh, uh, blaster boxes are quite a bit more than some of the other stuff, and they tend to be filled with a lot of players I don't recognize. It's like a mix of prospects, um, draft picks, and uh, regular player, active players. And so, uh, I don't know. I, I don't mind the designs of them or not. And I get a lot of the Bowman cards from this, uh, this subscription box. So that's also another impetus for me to not, uh, not bother buying any. So DL Hall rookie card. Uh, we're back to Stadium Club Chrome. That's a Nick, Nick, blah, 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 pardon me, Nick Lodolo rookie card. Cool. John Cruck. Pretty cool. I've never, never seen a photograph of him doing that before. He was one of my favorite players in the 90s. Uh, Richie Palacios, rookie card. Um, Luis Castillo. Let me flip that over. Harrison Bader. Uh, Jackson Kowar, rookie card. Uh, back to 2021, Victor Reyes. Starlin Castro. We have a... Star power showing the number of players from the Dodgers there. A celebration in Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> and Darren Ruff. We have on the 87 design, we have Greg Maddox. That is from 2017. It seems kind of thicker than I'm used to seeing. That's a pretty thick card. Because we were seeing a lot of 87s in the uh, 2022 set, but this one is from 2017. Definitely nice looking card. I like the 87 design, the original Topps 87 design. It was, it's just a shame that it was so overproduced. Um, otherwise, uh, there would be quite a few um, rather pricey cards in that set. Um, among them like Barry Larkin and Barry Bonds and a number of other ones that uh, is... Somehow eluded my mind at the moment. Sixto Sanchez. That's one of those top 100 scouts from Bowman Chrome. That's from 2018. We have some Gypsy Queen cards. I don't recognize this design. That's Christian Yelich. That's from 2015. I have not opened up any of that. So this has been actually a really nice box for me at least. Uh Lots of cards I don't have in my collection from uh, years that I, I didn't collect. There's Mark Teixeira. Uh, a Andrew Kashner. And a Starling Marte. So that's pretty cool. And uh, Panini Elite Extra Edition Taylor Trammell. Prospect Materials. Oh, and we got a uniform piece down here. <laughs> Almost missed it. <laughs> so I guess that is another hit. So I've been really pleased with this box. Uh, they, they are hit and miss. It is a lower end product, and that's why I feature it on this channel. It's for collectors that don't have a lot of money to spend on the pricier ones, which uh, typically run from... 
I guess in the mid 60s up to several hundred dollars from what I've seen on some other channels. Um, let's go over the uh, the hits that are in here. And like I said, they send you some. Let me get the those off there. Some penny sleeves and some top loaders, and we can always go use those. Um, I pretty much uh, top load quite a lot more stuff than I guess the average collector does. Anything that goes in my PC gets top loaded, even if it's uh, what some people consider common cards. Like I collect uh, players from back in my youth that would be, would fall under the definition of a common card. We're talking about things like uh, players like Greg Gross or Gary Maddox or Bake McBride. And I top load all of those. <laughs> and I understand some people limit their top loaders to more expensive cards, but I don't. Miguel Sano rookie card from Topps Chrome. That's a pretty nice one from 2016. And we have an auto. Let me tap that down, get it down in the top loader. This is from Topps Certified autograph can't quite make out the, oh pardon the glare i'm trying to read this silver text up here this is clint everts from 20 2003 okay so i don't know what who clint everts is i presume uh, since i don't know who he is he may not have had a long stay in the majors we will definitely have to look him up if you know who clint everts is and want to comment you're more than welcome to do so Let's see which packs we've got. We have um, 2022 Top Stadium Club Chrome. That is something I did not buy. I have bought some 2023 uh, Tops Big League Baseball. Um, I previously featured a, um, a hobby box of this. And somewhere down the road, I'll have a video of a blaster box of this. I did buy a blaster box at, at Target. I had a gift card from Christmas. And I bought that and some Panini stuff, which uh, I've already loaded up the video of um, three different Panini products I had. And 2023 Bowman, which is something I'm probably not going to buy. So this is pretty cool. I'll get to open up something new uh, and see what we find in there. We'll save that one for last. And this one next. And we'll do the big league ones because I've already seen these before. And I believe, let's see, this is a hobby pack. It's got the H up here. I don't remember what what so what was so special about the hobby version, even though I opened one up. To be honest, I think I found more inter interesting in the blaster box than the hobby box. So there's Bryson Stott, uh, Jock Peterson, Riley Green. This is on the big league big leaguers insert set BL twenty three. That is a rookie card for him. Tim Anderson on the silver parallel. That was the thing about the hobby box. Every pack had a silver parallel, or I'm sorry, a rainbow foil. Uh, it, it's interchangeable. A lot of people call them silver parallels, um, but I think technically Tops calls them rainbow foils, and that may be how they appear in like online catalogs and stuff, and like in your Beckett catalog if you have one. So there's Tim Anderson. Oh, we got an auto. Cool. Nolan Jones. Rookie card. Opening act, I guess, uh, is a, this is a s insert. So now, I don't know who Nolan Jones is, but now I definitely need to look this up. Wow. This has turned into quite an impressive box. Like I say, it's, uh, it's a mixed bag. It's like anything else when you open it up. You buy like a... Um, a blaster box of something you open it up and it's like meh and then you open up another one like a month later and it's like holy crap <laughs> there's Devin Williams Rowley Tellez and Nestor Cortez so this has turned into quite a surprising opening for me Stadium Club Chrome 2022 um, other than the the ones that we saw in this stack of uh, loose cards, this is the first time I've ever opened this. Well, I see Babe Ruth is on the back. That's always nice. I have Trey Mancini. Zach Greinke. Yon Moncada. 
Not sure what's going on there. He's surrounded by corn stalk. There's like two of them. I guess that's what's... I don't know what's going on there. Thurman Munson. And that appears to be a refractor. Yeah, there's a lot of rainbow stuff going on there. And it may be a blue parallel. I don't know anything about Stadium Club Chrome. But I know uh, the regular Stadium Club set, when they have red parallels, this is in red and this down here is in red. So I'm assuming this is a blue one. And it's numbered. Holy crap. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know. It's hard to get it focused. 81 out of 199. Oh, that is cool. And Thurman Munson... Um, I was too young to remember Thurman Munson, and it was a shame that he died in a plane crash. Because um, I think he would have easily been elected to the Hall of Fame by now, provided he played longer. And I don't know what the problem is with the Hall of Fame for not putting him in. He, he, he does have the 10 years to qualify, and he was regularly named to the all-star game and put up some decent numbers for a catcher one of the best ones in the american league that decade in the 70s so i don't know what's going on with the hall of fame but he should have been in there a long time ago uh, there's a Chaz mccormick rookie card and babe ruth playing a saxophone and lou gehrig has to <laughs> cover his ears i've never seen this before i'm assuming this is off of a real photograph but i have never seen a photograph of Babe Ruth with a saxophone in his mouth and Lou Gehrig can't stand it. This is this is what um, people do when they hear music that I make. If you haven't, uh, I, I haven't really advertised that, it, but I do make my own music um, on computer with uh, Reaper software. And it is, it is uh, experimental would be the best word to use. It's a little weird, but I've got a weird sense of humor and my art artistic tastes are on lean towards the weird side. Like if you see a picture of the Mona Lisa or a picture that is completely white with an orange dot in the lower right corner, you'll see me going over towards the orange dot more than the Mona Lisa. So that gives you an idea of where my uh, artistic likes lean. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I like that card. That's really neat. Let's open up Bowman 2023. I was hoping to keep this video under 20 minutes. There's something on the back there that looks interesting. Jordan Alvarez. Can't go wrong having a Jordan card. He's a really good player. Michael Garcia, rookie card. Matt Walner, rookie card. Garrett Cole. By the way, let's uh, have a look at the design. Um, it's different than other Bowman ones. I mean, it's very similar. All the Bowman cards seem to be similar in some way. It's just the color scheme always tends to be sort of like grayish around the edges. And, and they change every year with the border and the way this is displayed. At least that's been my experience. Um for the last five or six years, I don't know how far back this goes because I, I have not uh, not run into very many Bowman cards in the past. The Bowman cards that I remember from the early 90s kind of modeled the Bowman style from back when it existed uh, in the, what, the late 40s, early 50s. Uh, but these are not bad. I like them. It kind of, the, now when it's pictured here on the back, it kind of looks like a, an old television screen from uh, the tube style televisions from back in the day, which I uh, readily admit that I uh, <laughs> had watched for most of my uh, young adult life, um, going from the 70s all the way into the 90s. And I guess I didn't get my first flat screen TV until, geez, uh, maybe 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Anyway, that's Manny Machado. Cool ball. Blah, 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 blah. Paul Goldschmidt. I was about to say ball. <laughs> and we got a card upside down here. Emmanuel Rodriguez Bowman. I think that's a prospect card. 
Bowman Chrome. Oh, this is the Scouts Top 100 um, set. Emmanuel Rodriguez is number 62. It is also a refractor. I don't know if all cards from that set are refractors or if just some are. The fact that this is upside down makes me think that it is. It is not numbered. Uh, I haven't collected very many of these top 100 cards. Uh, pro probably mostly because most of them I don't know who they are. Um, I have collected some uh, that have made it to the big leagues and have uh, now has now have a, a significant presence in their current big league roles. Uh, Braylon Bishop, this is a first Bowman. So these tend to be um, prospects that um, this is their first card ever. And sometimes they uh, they tend to be uh, just out of college and or whatever. Uh, Logan Wagner, first Bowman for him. Yulber Herrera, first Bowman for him. So somewhere down the road, maybe some of them will end up being big stars someday. Jesus Baez, first Bowman, and his is a chrome card. And this one was upside down and when i first opened it i noticed that it was something special it is ariel al almonte it is numbered 186 out of 250 it looks like a purple wave parallel i'm guessing on that all i had was the uh the pack wrapper which uh is down here on the floor and i don't think that's gonna have no all it says is no purchase necessary it doesn't doesn't give odds of anything on the pack. And this doesn't have a hobby box logo on it, so I'm thinking this is just a retail pack. But nonetheless, uh we got a numbered card. I don't know who Ariel Almonte is. He had a pretty decent 2022 minor league season there. 883 OPS. 286 with a 493 slugging in over the course of 42 games. Uh, he's considered the number 21 Reds prospect. Or is that the number 21 prospect overall at MLB.com? It's not clear to me what, what that means. So we will keep our eyes on Ariel Almonte down the road. And I've run out of uh, stands. I only have five, so we'll just put him there. Uh, geez, we're almost up to the half hour mark. I guess because this has been such an interesting box. So this is the, uh, the May box of GLB collector's box and there is your url if you want to go over and check them out like i said they are a mixed bag some some months you get some good stuff some months it doesn't pan out it's it's always a gamble and some of those months where it didn't pan out it they may have actually been better than i thought they were and i've only thought that in recent days because i know anthony volpe is now Playing in the big leagues for the Yankees and is considered one of the top prospects. And one of the earlier boxes I got from this subscription box had a Bowman Anthony Volpe card with an auto on it. And at the time I was like, who's Anthony Volpe? I don't know. And, uh, you know, it didn't clinch with my head that, you know, somewhere down the road he could be could be somebody important. Now, Clint Everts here, probably not because that card dates so far back. And Bobby Dahlback, we're still waiting for him to turn into something big down the road, but we don't know who Nolan Jones is. We do know who Thurman Munson is, and we don't know who Ariel Almonte is. So given that, um, somewhere down the road, if these players end up turning to be decent players, uh, we will definitely cherish getting stuff like this. So that's GLB Breaks. Um May subscription box called the GLB Collector's Box. I will try to remember to put a link down in the pardon me, description below. And I will hopefully get this video posted before the month of May is over. <laughs> the last, the one I did for April, I posted in somewhere in early May. Uh, you can go back and check that. I, I haven't linked these together in a, a playlist on YouTube, and maybe I should somewhere down the road. Um, but uh, you could probably do a search on YouTube, and I'm not the only one to open this up. Uh, I know Christopher 
uh, regularly post a monthly video of his openings and that that's where I first discovered this product was on his channel uh, so heads up for uh, Christopher go over there and check him out if you want to he has a lot of interesting stuff and um, well, he was one of the inspirations that made me want to do videos in addition to uh, folks like uh, John Jabs and uh, there was another uh, another gentleman that had an interesting channel and it's like well I should do this too and here I am doing it uh, sorry for the long video I apologize uh, sometimes I yammer on a little bit too long but I hope you enjoyed the video and if, if you do uh, please do uh, give it a like and I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and uh, anything like that supports the channel to continue growing I thank you for that. Uh, take care, everybody. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for a little. <laughs> I can't even get it the, out at the very end. The last few words. Thanks so much for watching. Beep beep.